Hello everyone. Today I will be talking on citation index. In my today's talk, I will be covering the topics such as what is citation, what is impact factor, what is H index, what is I10 index, how to increase your own articles citation, how to know your own citations, how to create profile in Google Scholars and on ResearchGate. So when we talk of citations, citations is nothing but a text reference and acknowledgement of a documented information. Whereas citation index, it is a type of bibliographic index that allows user to understand which later document cites which earlier document. We'll try to understand this with the help of an example. Say an author, author one publishes a paper and it has been referred by another author called say author two and the author two publishes her own paper. Uh, when we look at author's two paper, we'll see that she has cited various references in her text and she has included those references in her bibliography list. Now there are various agencies which will keep track of all these uh, citations and will provide you information for each and every paper that has been published. Now here I have a screenshot taken from Scopus and at the bottom you will look at a graph where there are bars and a line is a line graph is there. Now the bars basically indi indicates the number of papers published by that particular author in that particular year. Whereas the line indicates the number of citations received by that particular author for that particular year. The Scopus will also provide you citations for each and every article that is published by that particular author. Similarly, on the Google Scholars also you will find citations for each and every paper published by that particular author. On Google Scholars, you may also find certain graphical representation wherein the overall citation and citations for the last five years has been shown. The H index for the overall as well as last five years and the I10 index for the overall as well as last five years. It will also show you graphical representation of the number of citations received by that particular author during the various years, during the previous years. Uh, if you look at impact factor generally when we try to publish a paper, uh, we will always try to take into consideration the impact factor of that particular journal. Now ma many journals will have various journal indices being displayed on their uh, web pages. The journal indices will include the impact factor, the site scores, uh, then it may have last five years impact factors, SNP score, the SIMAGO uh, journal rating ranks and many other indices may also be shown on the journal's website. Based on these indices, we may decide whether we have to publish a paper in that particular journal or not. So let's try to understand what is impact factor. Impact factor is nothing but the average number of citations received per paper published in that particular journal during the two preceding years. We will try to understand this with an example how the impact factor has been calculated. Say N1 is the number of papers published in the year 2017 and 18 in that particular journal. We will take an example 200 of papers are been published in a journal during those two years and N2 is the number of citations of papers published in 2000. 17 and 18 in the year 2019. So in 2019, the number of citations received for the papers published in 2017 and 18, we'll take an example it as uh, 100. So how is this impact factor calculated? The formula is very simple. The journal's impact factor is calculated by dividing the number of citation N2 by the number of papers published that is N1. So by putting our data into uh, these uh, numbers we have 100 by 200 that is 0.5 so 0.5 is the num is the impact factor of uh, that particular journal for that particular year and as we have to understand that the impact factor changes every year why this impact factor changes because the number of citations received for the per papers published in the previous two years is different every year next uh, we'll try to understand what is h index H index is sometimes also called as a Hirsch index or it is also called as a Hirsch number. So basically H index uh, it is it quantifies the impact and the quality of the published work of a scientist or a scholar. 
basically it will tell us how much productive that particular scientist or a scholar is. Uh, so, how is this H index calculated? So, H in index is not, we can simply put it as H number of papers each cited at least H times. Uh, we'll take, we'll uh, try to understand uh, this concept with the help of an example. Say, uh, you have a table or author who has uh, published various papers. We are giving, for simplification, I have uh, named each paper as paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 and paper uh, 4 and 5. So, you have 5 papers been published by an author and the number of citations received for each paper is different. So, it starts right from 40 and it goes down till 1. So, initially what has been done? The number of citations is been arranged in a descending order. So, the papers are arranged in such a way that the number of citations are in a descending order. So, once we have arranged this on uh, papers in their descending order citations, uh, then we have to ask a question such as, uh, at least one paper has been cited one time, two papers has been cited two times, at least three papers has been th cited three times. In our um, example, what we see is that there are at least only three papers which are been cited three times. So, in such case, then uh, the H index will be 3. So, the H index calculated for our example is 3. On the ResearchGate website also, we can uh, retrieve the data for H index and this H index will be either excluding our self citation or uh, including our self citation. Self citation is nothing but you are writing your own paper and your cite, then you are citing your own uh, research article which has been published earlier. So, that is what we call it as self citation. So, what is uh, I10 index? I10 index is nothing but the number of papers which are been published uh, having at least uh, 10 citations. So, that is what is I10 index. So, again the highest number of citations or I10 index uh, is of Michel uh, Foucault. Now, how to increase your articles, uh, your own article citation? So, the first and foremost thing is that you have to choose the right journal for publication. It is very essential that you publish in a relevant journal, in a journal which is having high impact factor. High impact factor indicates that that journal is been read and it has been referred to by a wide audience. So, the first thing is that your paper, your publication should reach to a wider audience. So, publish in a journal with high impact factor, make your article visible and accessible to others free of cost. So, generally what we see is that most of the uh, publishers will charge some kind of uh, charges or they will charge some kind of fees for accessing their full text articles and since people will always prefer to download or uh, refer to free journals and therefore uh, you can you should actually have some measures to see to it that your article is reaching to wider audience. So, but again while doing this you have to take care that you are not violating any copyrights of the publishers. While you publish a paper we are generally signing some kind of uh, copyright transfers to the publisher and therefore such copyright violation should not happen. Uh, what you can do is you can put up your paper on the institutional or departmental profile but again here you cannot display it or you cannot make it public unless and until it has been. Uh, in an open access journal. You can have uh, your papers been or links to your paper been displayed on your personalized websites and you can have your personalized profile been created on ResearchGate, you can create it on Google Scholars or you can even create a personalized Google site. Now, how to know your own citation index? Now, uh, citing Citation index services are being provided by websites such as Web of Science which is being provided by Thomas Reuter, then Scopus which is provided by Elsevier, then other citation databases will include uh, Google Scholar and it will have citation and search of the scholarly literature, then Citeseer, then EBSCOhost, 
compend decks you may be creating your own profile in google scholars and uh, research gate even in that also you will find your own citation index been created automatically next thing uh, that we will try to understand is how to create your profile in the google scholars website so for that you have to visit the uh, url that is https scholars.google.co.in or google.com you may just type scholars.google.com and you will come to this website so once you reach this website you have to sign in to your google account by clicking on the sign in button which is there on the top uh, right hand side corner once you click on this you will be told to sign in to your account so it is essential that you create a gmail account and then only create the google scholars account so once you sign in uh, you will reach to this page this page is specific for the google scholars uh, in on this page on the left hand top corner you will find my profile so to click on my profile once you click click on my profile you have to fill in uh, your details your name your affiliation uh, your institutional email address for verification so it is very essential that you have your college or your institution's email address personalized email address then and then uh, only they will be able to verify you that you are authentically working for that particular institution and they will allow you to create a profile in the google scholars uh, next once you are finished with your uh, personal profile then you will be asked to uh, add your articles to your uh, profile so what you can do is that instead of searching here you can just click on the arrow button that is there on the right hand side top corner so once you have clicked it uh, then you click on the next then you will be directed to your personalized uh, web page and, and on this web page you will find a plus mark uh, under the under your profile information click on that plus mark and then you can click on add articles so you can add your articles and once you click on it you will uh, another window will pop up and on that you can search for your articles by just typing your name in it so once you type your name in it you will be given options and from those options you can select your own papers and then you can add it to your profile uh, there is another option many a times you may not find your article uh, present on uh, present in the list that is provided by google so you can actually add it manually by clicking on the again on the plus sign and then add article manually that on that option so once you click on these two options you will be again uh, prompted with another window a pop-up window will come up and in that you can put your title the author's name the year of publication the place of publication uh, whether it's a research paper whether it's a review paper whether it is any uh, conference paper all those details you can fill in and you can click on the tick mark button that is right button which is there on the top uh, right hand side corner so once you do that your article is added uh, next we'll look at how to create profile in researchgate you have to visit the website www.www.researchgate.net once you uh, open this website you will be prompted to join for free click on the join for free uh, you have to tell researchgate whether you are a student ag and pursuing academics whether you are corporate uh, whether you belong to the corporate world or the government or an NGO or whether you are a medical professional or you are not a researcher you are just a general public who wants to join researchgate so accordingly you will uh, have to click on your options once you click on it you have to have or you have to uh, give details about your institution your department where, where you belong you have to click on continue or maybe you can even 
skip this particular step once you have done this you have to write uh, give your uh, personal details such as your name uh, then your institutional email address understand here that even in case of the research gate you have to have your personalized institutional email address and unless you have your personalized institutional email address they will not create your profile because they cannot confirm you uh, confirm that whether you are working for that particular institute or not so once you have done this you just click on continue uh, once you click on continue they and once you have been verified your profile on the on the research gate will be created and once you have created you can add your articles by clicking on the option that is given on the right hand side corner once you click on it you can update your profile and once you update your profile you can start exploring uh, i hope that my talk was uh, quite informative enough for you and uh, if you have any queries you can contact me anytime uh, on my below given email address that is r.dharvi at direct mdcollege.in